Okay, what we have here is a 1998 Ford Taurus. What I was doing was trying to troubleshoot a problem of uh, cranking but not starting. And I thank the people that, uh, that put up YouTube videos on uh, troubleshooting this because through your guys' YouTubes, I figured out my problem. Now what happened was um, I tried to do this video outside and uh, the wind noise is too bad so I had to bring it back inside and narrate it. But what I'm going to show you here is the crankshaft position sensor which is right down there. And that was the culprit of the problem. And I'm going to show you that and then uh, that, was, that was a problem. Now I'm going to show you how I diagnosed it here in the next coming moments of this video. But it sends uh, information, that thing sends information to the coil uh, for, the, uh, for the spark of the engine. And it wasn't getting no spark. But what I did, what I knew then was that it was, uh, uh, what I wanted to do was test the fuel pump. So when I went over and started testing the fuel pump, I watched YouTube and I figured out how to test the fuel pump. What I get, did is got my wife out and got her back by the fuel cap and put her ear down there so she could tell me when I turned the ignition on if uh, if she heard any noise down there. And she heard the fuel pump go on and go off. So immediately I knew the fuel pump worked, but I had to make sure it was getting fuel all the way to the front of the car, to the engine. So what I did there is I went to the front of the engine and on the uh, <clears throat> on the uh, uh, air cleaner right there, I dis I disconnected that and put fuel uh, put spray right inside there, and uh, that you can see the boot going to the engine. I put fuel. I sprayed fuel right inside, or not fuel, starter fluid down inside there and I cranked the engine over and there was still no fire so immediately I knew I probably had a spark uh, problem from what everybody said on YouTube and then I went and put, put my handy dandy spark plug tester inside uh, undone the spark plug from that, that one right there, there was no spark. So I did it on the other side. There was still no spark. So I had pretty good confirmation it was going to be in the spark somewhere on the ignition. And I didn't know how to troubleshoot it, but uh, through w watching the videos, I figured out how to troubleshoot that. And uh, it was pretty easy. All I did. I uh, was get in the car and one of the mechanics on YouTube said there's the RPM indicator if you crank the engine over it should show something on the RPM indicator that needle should move a little bit but it was not moving so then I knew uh, he said that is an indication that you have a bad um, crankshaft indicator sensor uh, and that's not the name for it uh, crankshaft uh, center sensor or something like that I'll put the real name up for you but anyway after doing that I went around to the crankshaft indicator and uh, well actually did, I didn't have a book on this engine I was just doing stuff in the blind and I could not find the crankshaft indicator anywhere on that engine. 
I looked at other videos, found crankshaft indicators all over the place, but I couldn't find the one on this car. So I went and uh, I had my stepson come over who works at the car shop and do us uh, an engine, uh, engine diagram. We found out where the crankshaft indicator was uh, over there on the left side of the engine. Once we pulled that and put the new one on, it fired right up for us. Uh, bless you for God. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this helps somebody out there. If it does, please share the video uh, with everybody else that might need this. Anyway, God bless. Bye-bye.